So welcome to part two. So basically now we're going to take that stencil and uh, specifically the cutout that we had and we're going to trace it back on to the leather um, and from there we're going to we're going to go ahead and paint it. For you with the moon. So cut it out, put it there. So what I did is I kept this kind of so I know it still got misaligned obviously it always does. Um, but get it as good as possible there we go and then maybe put it um, so I'll put it a little bit higher just because we've got a bit more room here and then ideally tape it but don't have to do that for here so then I'm using this pen which is a Tandy leather uh, pen I've never been able to find anything like it anywhere else um, but it's basically a silver pen um, that you can get from Tandy Leather um, and basically you can draw on it and rub it out there you go with some spit now like here that's been on there for days weeks probably so it doesn't really come off anymore so it is great for quick things like measuring out drawing on it and then cutting um, so then Let's quickly do this. So I've got this outline now and especially here with the detail and stuff This is quite thick um, So obviously you're gonna lose detail, but the solution I found for this is To actually just color inside the lines So I'm going with the paint up till the line. I'm not actually going over the line and it's always impossible to get perfectly round unless you have a nice sized and that's why I've got this head thing on me just so the light if you think why the fuck is he wearing We do the same with this big piece. So you know, I use tape to just make sure it all stays aligned. It will shift a little bit. We don't want there. Make sure you put the cap back on because it dries out very, very quickly. See any downside. So this is dry. So basically, just wet our finger, and I, think, I don't know if you can see that very well, but the grey line, the silver line, now comes off. It leaves a little bit of residue on the leather, but it should be okay. And then. We can add our second layer. Whew. So we've traced the entire thing now. It obviously looks a little bit less detailed around the trees, but I might just keep it roughly like that. Um, we'll see how it goes. So now the tedious task of filling this in. So let's get started. I'm using like the tiniest brush just for around the end edges.
so that's the first layer doesn't really look like very much at the moment um, oh I hate the like strokes and stuff like that but as you can see in these next layer will will start all right welcome back so that should be dry enough it takes only a few minutes um, so we're going to take away the uh, silver layer that we did with the leather pen now I'm using fiber cloth normally I do it with my fingers but I want to see if this works because fingers takes ages and it's not as wet so I kind of smear so I'm hoping this works better uh, microfiber cloth now hopefully it won't smudge the paint let's see there we go and it doesn't so I hope you can see that on the video um, but it really changes the outline so basically I've added a few more layers to um, the whole sheet so as you can see this is what it's looking like now uh, and there it is closer up see it's it's a lot more even white now um, there's still a few areas but you you'll keep having that